Hey guys, welcome back. So it's 2020 and Happy New Year. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the manga I picked up through December. Most of them turned up, well actually in the very first week of January. So, um, so I'm going to include a few of those as my December haul because there's not a lot of them. And then I'll do another haul at the end of January, depending on how many I pick up. But knowing me, it'll be a, a fair bit. So I hope you had a, a wonderful holiday and some time away from work and celebrated whatever you celebrate and you got to welcome in the new year with friends and family and you had a great time. So as you know here in Australia, if you've been watching the news, there's some pretty big bushfires raging. It's not too good, it's not a great way to start the year. A lot of people have lost their lives and their livelihoods and their homes and, and nearly a billion animals have been killed in these fires as well so it's an absolute catastrophe so if you feel like donating to the Australian Red Cross I'll leave a link down below so you can help out those that really really need it. Now let's move on to something of a lighter note. Manga. We all love manga that's why we're here. So I kind of recently discovered my love of manga well halfway through 2019 when I discovered Jojo's Bizarre Adventures and then I started reacting to the series on my channel and that made me want to explore the manga so I started buying the digital copies on my iBooks and I was really enjoying it, it was really cool, I got really invested in, in the characters and the storylines but then one day on Amazon I saw they had the hard copies on sale so I started buying all the Jojos in these beautiful hard covers and then my love of manga just exploded so my collection is nearly at the 300 volume mark at this point so that's not too bad in a matter of months. So the first ones I'm going to show you today are pretty much just rounding out the collection of everything that is available so far in this series and it's the Golden Kumai collection. So we've got number three here. I've already got one and two on the bookshelf. And number four. So I'm really curious about this one. Everyone I've spoken to so far that's dived into this series says it's amazing. So I'm pretty excited to be checking this one out. So it's a bit of an adventure series, I think. So I've got all of those so far. Book number five, number six, seven, eight, nine, and number 10. So there is more on pre-order I think. So they've come to me courtesy of Amazon and I'm really excited to dive into this series. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. So what have I read so far? I have checked out Comey Can't Communicate. I've read the first three books in that series and I, I have fallen in love with Comey. It is such a great little book series about a poor girl who cannot communicate at all. Whenever she's face to face with somebody, she trembles, she can't talk. It's a real social anxiety and the way that she communicates through text messages and, and writing on chalkboards just to make friends it's really endearing and it's really quite charming in its own way as well i really fell in love with the artwork in that one so Komi can't communicate check it out and i've also finished off the entire run so far of vinland saga and that was an epic manga it was my th the first manga i dived into and Man, it was it was a hell of an initiation. That was a really good book series. So the story of Thorfinn out to avenge the murder of his father Fors by the Viking pirate Askelad. So I'm also reacting to the anime on my channel as well. Um, so I'm up to episode number eight on that and it is incredible. Yeah, I've read the manga. I know the twists and the turns, but the show is still very good in its own right. So check that out too. The anime and the book series, Binland Saga. Unreal. It's really, really good. Now I've got a few more books here that are pretty much just rounding out collections that I've already started. So I've got Happiness number 10. So I'm really keen to dive into this one as well. Uh, basically a vampire manga. So Happiness number 10. And I think I've rounded out the collection to Doro Hey Doro as well. So I've got a few books here. I've got book 18, 19, and 23. So these ones just kind of trickled in in the last couple weeks and I've had the had them on pre-order for a while so Doro Hey Doro I'm really keen to check out as well so apparently there's also an anime coming for this one so always the eternal debate as you know I'm kind of questioning should I dive into the manga first or the anime first yeah it's a tough one but I just love the manga so much I'm pretty much just gonna read everything I think because it's there and it's in front of me and it's tempting and I can't say no so those books are there okay next another series of rounded out this is a, a really charming little series i can't wait to dive into once again i look i get a lot of these recommendations from fellow youtubers who do their manga hauls and i will watch their show click over to amazon search for it and pre-order it or save it in the basket for future purchase and this one seems to be getting a lot of love so i'm really excited to check it out so i've already got book one and two already so this is number three of yotsuba yeah doesn't she look cute three four book number five and some of these actually are like pretty thick as well so I'm not gonna be like well actually I'm burning through like a manga every two nights 
I'm currently reading Pluto, which, which is the reimagination of Astro Boy, the world's greatest robot. It's awesome. By the guy who did Monster and 20th Century Boys. I'll leave his name down below because I can't think of it right now, but it's incredible. It's really good. So book number six, number seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen and 14 and this is really the the thickest one of the lot so there's that the whole got super collection in my hot little hands now i spent a good portion of my morning rearranging the shelves once again because i've got so much new stuff i really kind of start cultivating some more space i really think i'm becoming a hoarder it's, it's kind of scary um as you can see i've got a lot of blu-rays that's the main thing i've been collecting for a number of years now so they've taken up a lot of space so I've had to kind of like readjust and get some of those discs into like albums with the sleeve and the, and the cover still there but really kind of condensing it down so I've got room for my books. It is challenging. The wife's not happy with me but um, when I discover a new passion I usually go in all guns blazing. It's crazy. Okay so I've got a few volumes like the first volume of a, a few series I'm really keen on checking out. So these um, are once again inspired by other YouTubers who recommend these books because they think they're awesome. Uh, the first one I've got to check out and the other books like the volume 2 is still sitting in my basket on Amazon So I might start reading the first volume first and then see if I like it before ordering the second one but I've got Undead Messiah Faith, Death and Life. So I really love my zombie stuff as you know I've got I Am A Hero and Hour of the Zombie over there too So I'm really excited for a zombie manga. It's cool um, This is another one that seems really really popular. It's got an anime as well and I just love the title. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. So every time I've watched the YouTuber do a manga haul, this one has always been really popular. So I'm going to dive into it because, man, it looks crazy. And being reincarnated as a slime, <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. Next, Master Keaton Volume 1 by Naoki Urasawa. This looks good. So what I gather, it's pretty much like uh, Indiana Jones kind of a tale, almost like uh, a guy who goes on adventures. Uh, I really love the way these books look. They're a really nice binding. And there's a few of these in the series as well. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this one. So I might pre-order the next one pretty soon. But yeah, Master Keaton looks excellent. Now this one is a quirky little title that I'm really curious about. Plus sized elf. Apparently it actually gives you some like legit training exercises so I could probably use this myself while being entertained by a monster girl. Is that what they call them? Monster girls? So this poor elf girl gets stuck in our world and um, gets addicted to fries and burgers and stuff and can't go home again until she loses a little bit of weight so it looks really charming. And next is Dr. Stone Volume 1. Now I wasn't really gonna dive into this series. I did a reaction to the very first episode of the anime and it was good, but it didn't really quite grab me. So I kind of put Dr. Stone like on the back burner. But then I, I'm hearing such good things about it lately that I'm really considering diving back into the anime and getting that back up on my channel for you guys who have been asking. And I thought, you know what, because I've got a love of manga, why not get the book series as well? So I've got volume one, so I'm really keen to check it out and see if it really does grab me still. But um, it's really damn popular, that and Fire Force, which I'll also put on the back burner right now too because I was waiting for it to grab me, it didn't, but I'm hearing really good things about it too, so there's that. So I've got some more here that are um, rounding out already existing collections. So this is number 29 of Attack on Titan, pretty much up to date now, still enjoying the series, I'm halfway through season 2. Uh, it's a shame I have to turn my comments off on my reactions because people, people just spoil things just for the sake of it, just to be jerk, so comments are off i'm really enjoying the show like it just letting the mystery wash over me it's so well done and the animation is incredible let me just get these in order here slam dunk so i i'm, I'm going pretty fast and furious through all the slam dunk series i've got book number nine here haven't started reading it yet but i'm excited too because it looks cool based on basketball life so slam dunk number nine number 10 11 12 and 13 so I know there's a hell of a lot of these in the series um, why not just keep going huh and I have also picked up Battle Royale number 12 so I've got the entirety of this collection as well this one is the last one to arrive most of these I did have to buy second hand so they're pre-loved 
but they look in pretty good condition so I'm not too upset with the quality I mean just flicking through, the, through this now the animation is just very adult but um insanely good it's so well done so I've watched the first movie I've got the second movie there on Blu-ray to watch as well so now I've got all Battle Royale because the reason I had to buy them second hand is because they're out of print and the volumes now are like four or five hundred dollars a book which is just that's too much money for one book okay next we have got a few more in my collection so we've got Demon Slayer number eight just finished watching the anime season one and holy shit it was amazing so I'm now free to start reading the manga when I finish Pluto which I'm burning through really quick right now so this is uh, number nine Demon Slayer number nine um apparently there's a movie coming out so I'm really excited to check out Demon Slayer the movie which is gonna be so the anime was basically the first arc the coming of age arc and now the second one is I can't remember the name of the arc but they're on a train fighting monsters cool right next is what is it Platinum's End so I've got a few here to add to my collection for that series um, I've got number eight and this is in no particular order eight Six. Let's go backwards. Five. And number nine. So these are done by the guys that did Death Note. Now because Death Note was so good and I'm, and I'm really keen to dive into that one too. This one doesn't live up to the hype I don't think. So a lot of people were disappointed in this one. But I hear from other people that read it that's still really good in its own right. So maybe I should read this first and then Death Note. What do you think? I don't want to spoil myself. And the last of my December haul is another quirky little title that I've seen from other people on YouTube once again. It is Laid Back Camp. So this is number four. I've already got a couple already in my series. But um, apparently this is just a nice little chill book about people going camping and just having a good time. So a real slice of life manga. And I'm loving the covers on these too. This is number five. Kind of really cardboardy. It's like legit paper cover so it feels really nice it's quite quite coarse so I'm, I'm liking the feel of that and the illustrations are they're really nice in there too so that is number what number are you again five and number six laid back camp so that is um my December haul so I didn't anticipate getting as many as I did and eight of those turned up today so i just thought i'd add those onto my december haul because um knowing me i'm gonna get like 100 more in the next couple of weeks and i'm gonna lose track so i just got all those ready to go and to be honest once i've done my manga haul video that's when i'm gonna put them away and get the place looking kind of tidy it looks like there's a bomb's gone off in here right now and there's a mess so i need the books to be put away in some kind of order it's not it's not alphabetical unfortunately which would be better i'm just kind of getting them where i can get them at the moment See, Dora Hedora has taken up a whole shelf as it is, but now I've got three more books. I'm going to have to rearrange that whole shelf and um, get it looking good. So, Happy New Year 2020. I'm really excited to see what it brings us. So, I'm really excited to check out more manga and more anime series. So, um, yeah, this has been a lot of fun. So, I'm glad I've finally started reading my mangas as well. There was a while there I was just ordering them in and not actually reading anything right away. So, I've checked out Vinland Saga, Kumi Can't Communicate, and Pluto. And then, man, I've got The World is My Oyster. I can pick any series next that I want and get into. I've got Prison School down there, Happiness, uh, Food Wars, Golden Kamui, which I'm really excited to check out. The two zombie mangas, I'm a Hero and Hour of the Zombie. Man, there's, there's a lot here, so I'm excited to check it out. My collection is huge, but um, why not, eh? Have fun. If you enjoy something, embrace it. Anyway, guys, catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.